today's video I'm going to show you an easy way to change the filament at a certain layer. I'm using a Kira plugin and you can download it from Thingverse. I'm going to put the link that you can download in the description. Let's get started. I'm going into Kira. I'm going to open this file. Let's zoom in first. The first thing I have to figure out is what layer I have to change the film it at. So I'm going to move this down. Um, that's too far, so I'm going to go up. This is where the text starts, so... Layer 6 is where I want to change the filament. Now I'm going to show you how to load the plugin. You press extensions, hold your mouse above post-processing, press modify G-code. Then you add a script, and then add the script right here. Since I'm using a Prusa printer, I have to use M600. Then I make it pause at layer 6. I'm done now, I just have to save the file. The memory card's, the memory card's in there, so I just go to this memory card. Press save to removable drive. Then I press eject. An easy way to get to your plugins is you press this button. And you get here and you can change the layer or change the plugin you have. Remember, if you want to clear your plugin for your next print, just press the X. I'm going to take the SD card out of the computer and put it in the 3D printer. I'm going to now I'm going to put the SD card into the 3D printer. I chose the gray, I mean the gray filament because I changed the G code so when it gets to layer 6 it'll ask us to change the color and then I'm going to put the red filament in. I'm going to start the print now. It's time to change the filament. I'm going to take it off. Put this in. Throw it out. Well, the change correctly and I'm going to say yes. I am using the tweezers to get the filament out. It's done. You can use this cure plugin whenever you want to 
change the filament or pause the printer. I'm going to use this plugin in future videos, so if you want to learn more about this plugin, keep on watching my videos. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Bye!